Welcome to our lesson on multiplying with multiplicative comparison word problems. What is multiplicative comparison? In a multiplication problem, the two factors and the product can be read as a comparison. For example, we know 6 times 7 equals 42. To read this as a comparison, we could say 42 is 6 times as many as 7, or we could also say 42 is 7 times as many as 6. In some problems, we will have to identify the unknown. One of the factors could be the unknown. 72 is 8 times as many as what number? Well, we know 8 times 9 equals 72. So 72 is 8 times as many as 9. The product could be the unknown. 8 times as many as 9 equals what number? Well, 8 times 9 equals 72. So that solves our unknown product. Word problems with an unknown factor. Here's an example. Kelly and Tiffany were baking cookies. Tiffany made 20 cookies, which was two times or twice as many as Kelly made. How many did Kelly make? Well, we know that 20 is the total number of cookies Tiffany made, so 20 is the product. We have to find the unknown factor. Two times what number equals 20? So we know that 2 times 10 equals 20. 20 is 2 times as many as 10, so 2 times 10 equals 20. There could also be word problems with an unknown product. James and John were catching fish. James caught four and John caught three times as many as James. How many did John catch? Well, the total number of fish John caught is the product and it is unknown. So we need to find the unknown product. Four times three equals what number? Three times as many as four is 12. So three times four equals 12. Now, let's try another one. Max and Leo were catching fireflies. Max caught three times as many as Leo. Leo caught seven. How many did Max catch? We have to find our unknown product. So we know Leo caught seven and Max caught three times this number. Seven times three equals 21. So Max caught 21 fireflies. Cammy and Maddie went to the mall. Maddie spent $63, which was seven times as many as Cammy spent. How much did Cammy spend? We need to find one of the unknown factors. So we know Maddie spent $63, and that was seven times as much as Cammy spent. So we have to figure out what times seven equals 63. So we know seven times nine equals 63. So Cami spent $9. This concludes our lesson on multiplying with multiplicative comparison word problems.